Hello, I am Pete and welcome back to Fallout New Vegas Challenge of Challenges. We're in Old World Blues and the challenge for this episode is that I'm only allowed to use one weapon. So I need to, at the start of the episode, choose the weapon I'm going to use throughout this episode and only use that for the entire episode. Which is a little bit of a shame really because I have picked up some, some weapons recently like uh, a light shining in darkness and the K9000 and this uh, trail carbine with a scope on it. And I haven't had a chance to use any of them yet, because in the previous episode, the challenge was no violence. And I don't think I'm going to be using them in this one, because I think for this episode, I, I need to go with something safe, something I've used a lot, something I know I can trust. It's it's really got to be Paciencia. That's, that's the only weapon in this list. I mean, maybe also the hunting revolver. We've had really good times with the hunting revolver. But yeah, the, the rat slayer I can't trust, and, and basically everything else in here... Yeah, not 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 enough. I don't have enough faith in it. But Paciencia, I have faith in. I think that can probably do us for this episode. So let's put everything else, weapon-wise at least, in this safe. There we go. I've dropped off one or two other things as well, just to to bring my weight down. Um, also, another thing, I never really looted this area. Um, I mean, most stuff I might as well just leave here on the shelves. I'll pick it up when I need it. Uh, the Mad Scientist Scrubs. What's their special status? Science plus five, int plus ones. So that's the same as the regular scientist scrubs. Okay, well, I don't need both of those with me, so let's put one of them away. And also, before I leave, I do just want to head into the think tank because there was one other item I didn't pick up in there. So again, there's one or two containers to loot. We'll just have a look around in case there's... Uh, Anything that's worth grabbing now? Probably not. I'll I'll come back for this stuff later. But one of these rooms has got a fairly decent uh, item of clothing behind it. I think the door is hard locked. Maybe average. Let's, let's just try unlocking all these and have a little look around before we head out. I am going to pick up... Ah, uh, oh, there we go. D Dr. Mobis' glasses. I think they're pretty useful. Why is the game not letting me pick them up? Is it because of my angle against the filing cabinet? Let's try that again. There we go. What's the stats on these? They give explosives plus 10, intelligence plus 2. Okay. Moderately cool, but not exactly what I was looking for. Let's check in the easy locked room. Doesn't seem to be anything of value in here at all. Oh, no problem, mate. There is a first aid kit here. I'll pick up the caps, but uh, not the sunset sarsaparillas. I don't want them weighing me down right now. Have you done all we asked? If not, we will not hesitate to ask again. <laughs> I've done nothing that you asked yet. I'm being distracted. Okay, I think maybe I was imagining stuff. I think I've got everything... Well, I haven't got everything that's worth grabbing here. Uh, mm. You know what? If I don't grab all this stuff now, I'm going to forget it. So I'm, I'm just going to grab everything and drop it back in the safe. I am also starting to pick up books as I see them. We will need lots and lots of books quite soon. Pick up all this junk that's in here as well. Oh, look, one well, mannequin's giving another mannequin some flowers. Isn't that lovely? Okay, think I've picked up everything, so I want to go into the sink and just lighten my load. Cool, back down to 86. Right, it's time to head out at long last. Let's have a quick look at the map. The quests I have active are taking me to various places. There's one that's taking me to these three. I've got another one pointing me there, one pointing me there. There are basically two locations in big mountain that I really, really like. One is this one here, which is Little Yangtze, and the other is Higgs Village, which is down here. Which to go to first? I, I think I'm probably going to focus on Higgs Village for this episode, because with the restriction, I can only use the weapon I've chosen. I think that this one is probably a slightly safer bet. We will also go to X2 while we're on the way there, because it's en route. Um, but yes, yeah, it's, it's time to time to get out there and see if we've made the right decision. OK, 
Okay, here we are. We've discovered the think tank. The haunting strains of Begin Again are coming over the radio. And let's start. Oh, missed. Got him that time. Okay, we're in caution. There's no one over there. There might be some lobotomites round to the left who could spot me. Here's one coming this way. Got him. So far, Paciencia feeling like a good bet. And as I mentioned in the previous episode, it's not a big world space. That tower there, that is X2. That's where we're heading for. So you can see the size of this entire world space. It goes as far as that tower there. Um, basically just beyond that building there. Uh, and there's a whole load of fences around, which makes it hard for me to point in other directions. But you know, that is the entire radius of this circular world. Okay. Not seeing anyone wandering around down there. Look at these. Right on top of each other. Lovely. So I kind of don't want to pick up all of their junk stuff because I want to keep my inventory as clear as possible for books. I want to pick up as many books as I can from Higgs Village. Let's keep moving forwards. More of these lobotomites will pop up in a second. And there are also some slightly tougher enemies that we're going to be fighting as well. I will have a little look in the back of this truck in case there's anything good. We'll take the stuff that doesn't weigh anything. Thank you very much. Won't take the fish and battery on this occasion. All right, let's run up to, to the next bit of cover. Still in hidden? Good. And yeah, there's going to be quite a few enemies coming from around there. That's Higgs Village. In fact, we can already see one on the compass. And I think a couple more showed up there as well. Okay, they're all going to be coming for me now. Very often with these uh, these lobotomites, some of them are melee only, so we won't have any trouble with those. Hello, you two. In fact, both of these two are melee only. Let's uh, let's queue up a couple of shots. Now oh, we can only do one headshot each. There we go. Oh, didn't get the critical on this one. Jobs are good. And these proton axes are pretty good. I'm going to pick that up. Obviously, can't use it in this episode, but I'll be able to use it next time. But uh, yeah, they are they are very handy against uh, Robo Scorpions. We're in caution because there's another lobotomite over there. No one's shooting at me yet, so both of these are probably melee only. I think let's go to Vats. We've got uh, plenty of AP stored up. Oh, you're not dead, are you? Ah. Hello, AP. Okay, we need to get out of crouch. There we go. Hello, buddy. Oops. Oh, you got a hit into me. And another, so cheeky. Considering this person is only wearing pyjamas, they are surprisingly resistant to my shots with Paciencia. Would not expect that. Okay, nothing particularly valuable from there. We'll reload while the going's good. Saturnite fists are pretty cool. Should definitely pick that up. And, yeah, I think I'd already looted you. And there's another body over there. There's also a location here which I want to drop into. There's basically three locations in this little corner that I want to, to pick up. Oh, someone spawned in. Where? I'm not seeing any red marks on the compass. Who am I in danger from? This is very suspicious. Okay. Well, this is Ulysses Point, so let's head on in here. And when I get inside, I will just flip around and watch the door in case anyone wants to follow me. Still in danger. Very interesting. Maybe the enemies can't follow me in here. Do I dare turn my back? All right, I'm going to pick up everything from this, this room. 
or at least anything that's worth having. This is a hard locked first aid kit. Now you'd think that that would mean there must be something good in it, but the game does not always work that way. Nope, just the usual sorts of stuff. Okay, we're dropping down into caution, so I think we're going to be fine. Yeah, there's some purified waters there. And there are lots of books. I want all of these books. Uh, there's a couple of patient logs. Those are Ulysses' diaries. Uh, no, I don't want to sleep, thank you. Well, let's, uh, let's play one of those logs. We'll also turn the radio off while we're here. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what order they go in, but logically this one should go first. Don't want to argue philosophy with you. Brotherhood are preservationists. Tech in the wrong hands, it's dangerous. Mojave's proof. No denying that. Proof's here in this crater, all around us. Your tribe, the Brotherhood. Haven't met many of you. Wanted to. Thought you might be the last chance for the Mojave. The West. The East. But you're all the same mind. Obsessed. Elijah is obsessed. He's mad. It's why they ordered his execution. Two are more alike than you know. Two wrapped up in the wrong bits of history to see ahead. Not judging. I know how it is. People are like couriers. You and him. Sometimes don't even know the message they bring. You all had a new flag. Thought maybe new ideas along with it. What you believe isn't any better than the bear or bull. No future in either. So says the man with the old world flag on his back. America, the Commonwealth, burned away. America sleeps. And until it's dead, I carry it. Just like I carried you. More than hope. Belief. There's voices here in the big empty. I want to talk to them. Not like your Elijah did. Got questions. Want to hear history give its answer. So it's quite cute how the, uh, the DLCs threads together. So Ulysses is one of the main characters from Lonesome Road. And Christine there is one of the main characters from Dead Money. And they met here in Big Mountain. Didn't think you'd make it back. Almost didn't. Got my answers. Your Elijah. He met the gods in this place. Did a good job of making them question the way of things. Do you know where he went? He's gone to the Sierra Madre. That's a special kind of hell. He won't come back. Someone smarter and tougher is going to kill him. If the Madre doesn't. I have to go after him. Not going to talk you out of it. Know what it means to track someone you share history with. Got a meeting of my own. That courier? Get her to come to me. Got a message for her. Like the message she had for me. Make them walk the road west, straight and true. Sink their feet in old world ash. Let storms tear at them. See the divide. See what happened. The divide? There's nothing there. Nothing there. Like the big empty. The Sierra Madre. No. The old world sleeps there. Sure as the flag I carry. The courier knows the way. And at the divide. Her and I. There. We'll have an ending to things. So loads more DLC set up going there. Talking about Christine tracking Father Elijah. Uh, Father Elijah to the Sierra Madre, which is going to be relevant for the Dead Money DLC, and a lot of um, pre watsiting for Lonesome Road, where we're going to follow Ulysses to the Divide. Uh, but that's pretty much everything we wanted to pick up in here. Let's head back out and see if we drop back into danger. Very much. But I'm not seeing a red mark on the compass. I feel like an enemy should have spawned, but hasn't. I feel like at some point something's just going to start shooting us in the back. There it is. I feel like you two. Oh, and a, a is that a night stalker? 
I didn't know you lot spawned in this area. What fun. That's not going too well, is it? Oh, I hate Night Stalkers. They're nasty. I'm going to focus on the Night Stalker at the moment. Uh, no AP. There we go. I kind of don't like walking backwards into unknown areas, so I'm going to spin around here. Still in danger. But no red marks. Okay. So is there anything currently waiting for me? By the door to Higgs Village. Perhaps not. Okay, so there's the fast travel marker. There is something over there. Super Ego, that's a big robo-brainy thing. And I think it's probably seen us and is coming right for us. Hmm. Do I fancy taking on Super Ego right now? Well, let's see what happens. That was a very, very nice sneak attack critical. Oh, who, what, 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 where, where? Okay, two lobotomites there, and I think I saw something to the left as well. No, that was my imagination. Okay, we need to deal with these. Super Ego is still far enough away that I think we can, we can wait a bit. Oh, that was fortunate, thank you. Am I going to get a critical in the head of this one? That's a decent amount of damage. And he's down. Okay, Super Ego is still going to be tracking us, I think. So let's sneak our way around here. Super Ego moves quite slowly. And doesn't seem to be attempting to attack me yet. One more should do it. Okay, that's dealt with. And we're back into hidden at long last. Uh, sterilizer glove, that's a sort of unarmed weapon thing. And let's just see if these have got anything light. There's another Sassanite Fist there. Yes, yeah, so I think I'm going to head into X2 first. Deal with the stuff that's to be dealt with up there. And then we'll come back. Are these openable, by the way? Yeah. Uh, and then we'll come back and do Higgs Village. So there's often some enemies spawned just around here. Not seeing anything yet. It's promising. Nothing moving. No red marks. Okay. Maybe those two lobotomites that we got just here were were it for the enemies in this area. Oh, no, 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 there you go. There's the trauma harness. These things are pretty nasty. What's he got? Is that a flamer? It sure is. I think there's two of them. That's awkward. And now I'm on fire. Let's run away. Okay, I think if we can get some distance, then we will get the advantage here because I think our gun will have more range than theirs. Certainly I can dodge those if they ever stop firing for long enough. Okay, let's try and get into some cover and maybe let's heal up a tiny bit. That'll sort us out. Oh, you're quite close. My cover is rapidly dis disappearing. Okay, these, these headshots in VATS are doing a lot more damage than what I was getting from the hips. That's good. Uh, we're stuck on something. Let's just, yeah, again, try and get some distance. Oh, these things giving us a, a hard time. I mean, th these, these fellas are tough, you know, any day of the week, really. The fact that I'm limited to using Paciencia isn't really causing me too much trouble here. I, I, <laughs> they'd, they'd take a hell of a lot of pounding. Uh, we want to take another of these and maybe a stim pack as well. Oh, you're, you're moving around, are you? Okay, we've got some vats. Headshots on you. Should really have focused on the other one. Oh, hello. Misfortunes appeared to help out. Thank you. I think she might have dealt with the other one. That's pretty good. Yeah, the other one went flying. Uh... Yeah, we're clear. Okay, thank you, Miss Fortune. Sorted us out nicely. Anything here I want. We'll take the uh, the things that don't weigh anything. I'll leave the weapons. 
Okay, so that hopefully is this area cleared out and we can now head into X2, where there is going to be more fun waiting for us, of course. Okay, there'll be a robot just on the other side of this door. Area secure. Unable to continue. Okay, that one up there didn't manage to get the, the sneak attack on him, so... Gonna be slightly tougher. Let's see if we can get some headshots. Beautiful. Okay, and I think there's one this more Protectron up at the top. With so we'll need to deal with that in a second. there somewhere maybe maybe even higher don't know either way there's a thing worth having here sync project light switch oh we're in danger the robot knows we're here ah there it is we can get a headshot from here not much of one in fact that probably hit the uh the gantry we should heal up a little bit more and uh, what's what's still active Okay, the Sunset Sarsaparilla is still healing us up, so we need to take a couple of stim packs. And I want to get to a position where I can get a better shot on this uh, on this robot. There it is, coming towards us. 95% on the head. Two might do. Two is done. And we're into hidden. We can loot the rest of this room in relative peace. Let's take the good stuff. And we'll loot the Protectrons as well for their energy weapons ammo. Yeah, let's just check these lockers in the corner. We'll have the wrench. Okay, so now to get to the X2 um, antenna thingamajiggy, which is one of the main quests that we're being led towards, we actually need to take this, this slightly sneaky ladder here um, it's quite easy to overlook this. Certainly first time I played this, I just ran right by it and it took me a, a little while to engage my brain. A few more things that we can pick up here that might be sellable or useful. That'll do. Yeah, so let's go up this ladder. Yeah, yeah my, uh, the mod that allows climbable ladders is kicking in there. All right, so now we're on the top here. One of these little supports has got uh, more width than the others, so that's the one you should use to climb up to the top. And as soon as I take the X2 antenna, some enemies will spawn we below. All right, time to level up. Let's have a little scan through here. What do we want? I mean, most of this I'm pretty happy with where it's at. One thing I could perhaps consider is bringing some of my other combat skills up. So I've focused on explosives and guns so far. Bringing the others up would be helpful in the event that I picked up a challenge one episode that required me to use, for example, melee and unarmed. Melee can be particularly useful in, in uh, Old World Blues and also in Dead Money. Unarmed can also be useful in dead money, so maybe I want to start bringing unarmed up. Hmm. Yeah. Science, I think... I think I'd like to put 10 into science. And then maybe I'll put the rest into unarmed. Now we have a perk. Let's have a little scan through here. Grim Reaper's Sprint is one I quite like. Killing a target in VATS immediately gives you 20 action points back. That's currently my candidate. Yeah, an additional 15 action points in VATS. Maybe I should even get that first. That might have even more utility. Reducing all AP costs by 10%. And again, another really good one. And hand loader as well. I keep overlooking this. That allows me to make better ammo for guns. Mm, I think I want that one. Yeah, I, th I think I should get that. I should at some point start investigating different ammo recipes. Right, so... This quest is trying to take us back to the X8 central facility. Okay, so it's, it's switched to that quest. Um, I don't really want a quest active at the moment, to tell you the truth, because I know what I'm doing. Uh, so Higgs Village is... Is that Higgs Village? That's not Higgs Village. That can't be. No, that could be the back of it. Yeah. Okay. I want to, while I'm up here, deal with as many robo-scorpions as I can. 
So if I creep up here, can I get a bead on any? Yeah, there's a couple there. Let's try and take them out. It's just better to fight them up here than up close. They will start zapping at me in a second. If I was allowed to use other weapons, I might be tempted to try and engage some explosives against these, but that's obviously against the rules right now. Yeah, I see you shooting at me. Let's move back while we reload. Got to be careful I don't fall. That would be very awkward. Okay, that's one down. I see you there. That's another one down. Uh, not sure if I can really get a shot in on that one. Let's try. Yeah, no, I'm going to probably have to fight that one from down close. Okay, let's head on back down. Now, I think there will be some... Yep, there will be some Robo Scorpions in here. Now, you need to look out for these ones because they explode after you kill them. So, stay back. Wait for it to do that thing and then go in and loot it. I quite want the scrap metal, actually. And there are more down here. So let's move on and deal with them. Hello, you. That didn't go too well, did it? Okay, I seem to have found a good shot here. A good spot here. Where it's, oh, there's one down there shooting at me now. And this one's just down there. Okay, let's try and close. There we go, that's a nice spot to shoot at it from. Uh, anything will do here. Critical, nice. Try and keep that pillar between us. Lovely. And then let's loot this. And then finally let's loot that one down there. Oh, there's some wonder glue there as well. Yeah, we'll have that. So I think I also left one Robo Scorpion outside. Let's take the scrap metal, why not? So we'll need to deal with that and then we can head into Higgs Village. There you are. Okay, this one I need to get away from because when this one dies, it's going to explode. I'm hoping there isn't anything behind me. Seems clear. Seems good. Oh, there was a stealth boy on that one. Lovely. Okay, and peace has returned to the world. Didn't lose too much health during that altercation. Let's top it up, though. Let's just have a sunset sarsaparilla. That'll probably do. So the last thing I'd like to do is head into Higgs Village. Um, given that it is quite dark here, I think... Well, we'll head inside. It'll be light inside, I think. And there'll also be some beds that we can use to just heal up and make it daytime. This is quite a safe area here. Once you've dealt with Super Ego, Higgs Village is no trouble. Okay, so it's not actually as light in here as I thought it would be. Fine. Uh, is this a safe drop? I'm not sure. I do know that there is uh, some loot on the roof. So let's make a pig's ear of jumping across. Brilliant. Well, I'll tell you what, let's let's head into one of these houses. Uh, which one are we going to start with? 101, why not? Let's see if there's a bed we can use. Indeed there is. Let's sleep in there. Let's sleep for enough hours that it goes through to daytime. It's still pretty dark in here. Okay, we need the light on. Right, we've got Dr. Klein scrubs in here. That's a pretty good piece of kit. Dr. Klein's scrubs give you science plus 10, int plus 2. Oh, is that the same as the scientist scrubs here? Oh, no, these scientist scrubs are only plus 5. I think Dr. Klein's scrubs, uh, and maybe were well, the mad scientist scrubs maybe also plus 10? Yeah, they might have been better than the regular scientist scrubs. But I'm maybe not paying attention. Anyway, a couple of Dr. Klein's things. Is his glove in here as well? Or is that somewhere else? Either way, let's have a little look around, see what we've got in here. Bit of wine. 
some Mentats. Lots of books. Okay, I'm going to come back for these. Basically, I want all the books out of these houses. All of these houses have lots and lots of books in them, and I want all the books. Ah, there it is, Dr. Klein's glove. Lovely. And there's actually a, a really good little achievement you can get. If you apply Dr. Klein's scrubs and Dr. Klein's gloves and also Dr. Klein's glasses. No, maybe we don't have them yet. I think we need to pick up Dr. Klein's glasses and then you can um, you can get a little achievement just for putting the three on. Let's put the Desert Ranger stuff back on. Uh, so here is the Sync Project book shoot. So we want that. And there's also some ammo and stuff in these boxes here. A few odds and sods hidden around here. Some Mentats. Loads of booze down here as well if you want it. I find it hard to resist. And then back here, loads more books. And a kitchen with some miscellaneous stuff in it. So what's my weight at at the moment? Okay, I've got 12 free. So if I pick up a handful of books... 276, 1, 2, 3, 4. So there we are, we're at capacity. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fast travel back to the sink, drop off as much stuff as I can, and then come back here and resume. Okay, we're back inside Higgs Village. Uh, before I head back into house 101 to pick up where I left off, I'm going to have another go at this jumping across. And that's what we're aiming for there. That's a bit better. So that's an easy locked foot locker containing... Just a bit of ammo. Disappointing. Okay. I was expecting better loot. Didn't get it though, did I? Okay, uh, so House 101, that's where we started. Let's go back in and pick up a whole load more books. And we'll get all the ones from these shelves here. Uh, unless you know what's going on here, you probably think, how on earth... Could the game require you to need so many books? And it does. One of the mechanisms in this game is making these uh, skill books. Uh, you find recipes around the world. In fact, we're about to pick, pick one or two up. And they do require a lot of these old books in order to manufacture the new skill books. So that's room one, uh, building 101 done. Uh, let's head on into 102. And let's see, whose is this? Okay, so this is, I think, this is Dr. Mobius's old place, if memory serves. And let's see what good loot's in here. So upstairs in his room, there are a large quantity of Mentats. And the recipe for the science skill book. That's what I was talking about earlier. So using all of the books we're picking up, we'll be able to make a new science skill book. Not much else in here. Okay, so the next house is number 103. Before we go in there... We will just look at the little doghouse here. If you have wild wasteland, there will be a death claw back here. Um, it's physically small, but no, nonetheless dangerous. Uh, I don't have wild wasteland, so no death claw. I do have one to pick up Gabe's bowl. That will be a quest item for later on. And in fact, that even kicks off the quest. Let's see if we can find more evidence of Gabe in X8. All right. Well, for now, I'm just going to go inside house 103. I'm expecting one more skill book recipe in here and there it is the medicine skill book on the shelves and again as before a whole bunch of books to pick up in here not as many as uh, as some of the other houses but still enough that's worth grabbing and I think that will do for that house so next round is 108 uh, in case you hadn't figured out there are six houses here corresponding to the five robo brains in the think tank plus Dr Mobius so in this house, the main interesting room is this one here. There's the Sync Project Jukebox. And I think there's also a uh, an audio sample somewhere. Is that in the other room? Ah, this hard locked suitcase, is that it? Uh, no, not much in there. Well, a decent amount of money. Here it is by the bed, audio samples, opera singer. Definitely want to pick that up before we leave. That's the recalibration file for the sonic emitter. Take it to the jukebox in the sink to recalibrate the sonic emitter for new effects. And no books in here. Dr. Rate is all about the sound, not the reading. Next house round is 104. This is Dr. Dahler's. Dr. Dahler's a little bit weird. She does like books, though. How my, how's my weight doing? 
Loads of capacity. Lovely. So lots and lots of teddy bears in here. That's uh, just Dr. Dahl's thing. The most interesting piece of loot is the speech skill book recipe there. We have picked up quite a decent number of, uh, of skill book recipes this episode. You see why I am such a fan of Higgs Village. And we'll just tidy up all these clothes. She's not going to need them anymore. She's just a brain in a jar. Take all your teddy bears as well. I'll sell them. Because I have no heart at all. I do find it hard to disrupt this little um, this little catwalk here. Seems a shame to, to mess about with that. So we'll leave that as it is. And there's one final house that we haven't checked yet, which is house number 00. A few books on the floor. We do seem to have gone over encumbered. And I suppose I can probably take a uh, ice cold sunset sarsaparilla to temporarily boost my strength. I don't want to have to leave and then come back just for the sake of... Oh, actually, no. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, the problem is there's more stuff to pick up. Okay, we'll, we'll toss some stuff down on the floor here. If we drop this little stack of 23 books there, we can come back for those. So in here, this item here is quite well hidden. That's the repair skill book recipe. And I think there's also an audio sample. Yeah, the giant tarantula on top of that terminal there. Another recalibration file indeed. Uh, yeah, so lots of books scattered around here. Enough that it makes it worth doing another trip back to the sink to drop off what we've got and then come back in. Interestingly, this securiton that was stood up last time we came in is now lying down. I think it was supposed to be lying down all along, really. I think it was just a glitch that it was stood up first time we came in. Okay, and with that, I think Higgs Village is done. I don't think there is anything else to loot here. We have done a very thorough job. So let's head on back to the sink. And I think that's probably a good place to end this episode. I've done everything I wanted to do. I hope you'll join me next time for the next episode of Fallout New Vegas Transit. Oh, some footlockers. Sorry. Got to find out what's inside. Just a bit of ammo. Okay, uh, yeah, as I was saying, hope you join me next time for the next episode of Fallout New Vegas Challenge of Challenges. And as always, if you have ideas for new challenges to add to the rotation, please do leave a comment. And that's it. It's time for you to go now. Hope you've got something interesting to do next. Maybe watch the next episode if you're catching up after the fact. Bye bye.